Okay, so we're now about halfway through the iOS 18 beta testing cycle and uh, most of you guys are asking, should I update to iOS 18? And in this video, I wanted to share with you guys my experience so far with the latest iOS 18 at developer beta 4. I've had a chance to test multiple devices from new to old and I wanted to share my experience with iOS 18 betas so far with the latest re-release for 18 beta 4 okay so just keep in mind that this is on my primary device and the iphone 15 pro max but i also had the chance to test it obviously on older devices as i mentioned the iphone 10r for example and i want to start off with the older devices because i feel like most of you guys probably have the most questions as the older the iphone gets typically the rougher it is for those devices to adapt to the latest os and i have to say that i have a lot of great news in regards to performance and how iOS 18 developer betas have been running, even the latest beta 4, on the older iPhone like the iPhone 10R you see here. In regards to performance, you know, scrolling through the software and just interacting with the OS as an everyday average use, everything seems to be running perfectly fine, believe it or not, on iOS 18 developer beta 4, which I'm happy to report. I mean, everything, it's buttery smooth on this iPhone. Uh, there was some choppiness with previous betas, like I wanna say beta 2, beta 3, but as in beta 4, the choppiness has sort of gone away. Things are a lot smoother in my opinion. And things are looking pretty good so far with iOS 18. Now keep in mind that sometimes when you update for the first time, right? So if you update your iPhone from iOS 17, for example, to iOS 18 betas, you may see a slight of slowdown as the memory and everything sort of indexes into place. So if you're venturing into iOS 18 for the first time, you may notice some choppiness within the software as things sort of get indexed into place. So just keep that one in mind. But I have to say that in terms of performance itself, iOS 18 has performed very well on older iPhones. Again, the iPhone XR here that I've been testing. But one thing that seems to be the primary issue here with betas, and this is to be expected, as you just saw, I got the battery prompt. So battery life has always been an issue with iOS 18 since the initial release of the first beta. Again, something that is expected with a beta software and it continues to sort of be an issue with the latest iOS 18 developer beta 4 on older devices as well as newer devices as well. So my iPhone 15 Pro Max here is running very, very well. Obviously the performance of this beta is excellent in my opinion for beta software. Keep in mind again that beta software tends to have bugs and issues and Apple will continue to address these issues. But in terms of overall performance, I have to say iOS 18 is probably the best beta software that I've tested coming from Apple in many years in comparison to iOS 16 betas, iOS 17 betas. iOS 18 has been, in my opinion, the best so far, and Apple has kept on top of the beta releases. For example, they released iOS 18 developer beta 4, and this past Friday, they released the re-release of beta 4 because of certain issues with brightness and audio issues. So they're staying on top of bugs and issues with iOS 18 beta testing, on all devices, okay? Now, one thing to note is that the next beta is right around the corner, and a lot of you guys may be enticed to update. So when can we expect the next beta, and should you update? Well, Apple has been all over the place this year with beta releases. I have to say, I've never experienced any other year like this one. So the next beta, iOS 18 Developer Beta 5 and Public Beta 2, could be and should be released this upcoming week of the 29th of July, the last week of July. If Apple does not release any official iOS 18 developer or public beta this week, they'll release it on the week of the 5th of August. So the first full week of August, we'll definitely get another beta, developer beta 5 and perhaps public beta 2. Or the next scenario could be that this week on the week of the 29th, we see the second public beta officially released to match the fourth developer beta for developers. And then on the week of the fifth, we see developer beta five and public beta three. But again, the schedule has just been all over the place this year. So just keep in mind that if you're looking to update to iOS 18, it's been a great experience so far other than the battery. I have to plug in at least one additional time in order to get through my entire day every single day. But other than that, everything seems to be running pretty smooth. So if you're looking to update, keep in mind that the battery life will be the issue. Now, one thing also to note is that Apple will most likely soon start testing a lot of the new Apple Intelligence stuff. So this 
could also bring a lot of new bugs and issues within iOS. I've been testing Apple Intelligence on this device uh, for quite some time, at least the UI for Siri for quite some time. And it is still a little buggy. As you can see, the actual keyboard doesn't pop up when you double tap here on the bottom of the screen sometimes. And sometimes, obviously, Siri will take forever to reply. But with this next upcoming beta for iOS 18 developers and public beta testers, we could see the first glance at Apple intelligence. So stay tuned for more. I just wanted to say, if you're looking to update to the next iOS 18 beta, keep in mind that the only thing you might have major issues with is battery performance. And other than that, everything seems to be fine. Thank you for watching this quick update. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys real soon. Peace.